It's your phone, your cellular device, because you can't download, you can download BandLab on your phone, or you can use a computer, but right now we're going to use phones, since everybody got a phone. If you don't got a phone nowadays, listen, I don't know what you got going on. I think the most important thing you're going to need is some earbuds, some earbuds, earbuds, earbuds. Don't use, don't use AirPods, because if you use AirPods, it's like Bluetooth, so if you use your AirPods, it's going to, uh, it ain't going to synchronize it right, so that's why you use, uh, what is it? Probably the best cheap quality headphones for band lab to use because this is what everybody used to start i mean you can use gas station headphones them walmart you can use that but to me this is the best quality you can use trust me bro it is quality over quantity you're on your sound to sound perfecto and what you're trying to do is upgrade as you can see this is a this is the mic i'm using right now hopefully i don't disconnect to nothing and i know some of y'all might be asking me how you gonna connect a usb microphone to a phone listen you ain't let me finish. That's why you being you rushing me. Stop rushing me. You know what I'm saying? But when you get a blue uh, a uh, USB microphone, if you're trying to plug it up to your phone, you're gonna need this adapter right here. I'm gonna link it down below as you can see. It, you connect this part in your uh, phone. I don't know if they make it for uh, Android, but hey, get your iPhone. You got an Android today. Today, phone is gonna charge your phone at the same time when you are recording your song in BandLab. So whenever you are recording, you don't want your phone to die mid recording because you know it's gonna mess up the mood. You don't want to wait. You know what I'm saying? You know when you're recording, you hype and you, your phone dies and you gotta wait a couple of seconds for it to reboot. When it reboot, your energy gone or you don't feel like recording no more. Yeah. So it's gonna be charging your phone at the same time while you are recording. I'm telling you guys. If you wanna take your sound to the next level, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna have to get you one of these mics, one of these mics, right? There's not even my mic right here, you know what I'm saying? It's not even my, my mic right here. As you can see, I don't know what type of, let me get close. I don't know what type of microphone this is, but I think this is a, um, a Rode microphone. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know about it. You can get you an amplifier right here. You can upgrade the sound and make the make the sound um, a pop. You know, so all the P's and cover up all the P's and all that. And now, oh, oh, oh now you ain't want, don't break on me. You, you're not mine. Don't break on me. What's going on over here, big bro? Oh, what? Hold on, hold on. That plane. I'm not into that that area of knowing the name of the wires and all that. I just know USB. That's how far I, I USB and HDMI. But if you want an in-depth video, me telling y'all what these certain 
a microphone, what's the best microphone to use, the amplifier, like which wire to get, or like the best quality to use, don't leave it in the comments. Cause I am not, I just told you, I'm not in that space of knowing that. And you still gonna ask me? Listen, <laughs> I, I don't know half of this stuff, I read it off of Google so I can just tell y'all in the, the most simplest way so y'all won't have to go read it. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I know some of y'all might be asking me, I, I, where I, I came here to learn how to use auto tune. Why, why you not? Get, why you ain't? Why you not showing? Why, why it's always why? 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 Why you ain't doing this? Why? 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 Man, who gonna be my kids when I grow up? Who my belt at? This one be you, my son. Hey, hold on. Yeah, when that fight did that at school? Ha. Hold on now. You said I'm your daddy. You never say that to me, boy. You know that's kind of, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of sassy. I'm your father. I'm your father? You don't ever say that to me, boy. I got him with that 360, no look. So face can not recruit me. You looking at me? <laughs> boy, I'm looking at old boy. They go, y'all know that boy. Listen. And I got an emo on him, because I made him with that. <laughs> you crying? Okay, once you have everything that you need, the next thing you'll need, you're gonna need yourself a beat. As you can see right now, I'm about to go on YouTube and look for me a beat. Hold on, let me rescreen. Let me screen record right quick. Okay, as you can see right now, I'm looking for me a destroying, a, yeah, destroying lonely type beats because, yeah, I'm trying to make this simple because most of y'all use destroying lonely beats. I messed with this beat right here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Man, this pause, I don't like this pause right here though. And it sound like the, but the best thing is, I don't know if y'all do this, but whenever I try to make a song, I kind of hum it, like, so I can, and then I'm gonna feel the hum with words, if you get what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? I feel my hum with words, hold on. Hey, money. Okay, once you found the beat that you need and the beat that you're gonna rap on, majority of y'all just gonna go in band and just start recording. No, 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 listen, big boy. We're trying to do the first thing you're trying to do, I mean, we're trying to do before you start rapping, we're trying to do is check for the, the key and the scale. That way that's gonna help you not sound off cause we are messing with auto-tune. I don't know, cause I don't know if you rapping on it, if you just punching in. Cause auto-tune, you really stretching the words cause like, you're singing and you feeling yourself. Cause you know when you use auto-tune, you really gonna feel yourself. I know you be doing that, yeah. You know I, mean? I know you be doing that, but yeah, make sure you check the key and the scale. I got this website, free website, so you can find the key and the scale because you don't wanna sound off whenever you're making a song. So yeah, first thing in the description, free website to find the key free on band lab and all that extra stuff so yo all right listen okay right now this is a whole different day because when i recorded the first time i went into a band lab and i seen the new auto tune pitches they got look at it they got all these brand new ones right i've never seen it before so they got this all these ones right here like they yeah i'm not Okay, so what y'all do, y'all go in auto pitch and y'all put it at 100. Set, put it at 100 sometimes, it's good sometimes, but no, you're gonna sound like a robot. Let's be honest, you know? Whenever you throw an auto pitch and put it back down, I don't wanna keep sounding like this. Whenever you use auto pitch too, I mean, whenever you record a song in band lab, bro, always make sure you throw a preset, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, go throw in a preset. And also, as you can see this, okay, also another thing, right? You see how this one sound, right? Let me put auto tune on it. You wanna put some auto tune? Let me put it at one on 100. So I can't really hear it. Okay, right now I'm on 100 using um auto tune, right? Say I go use a different preset, like uh that's a I use this preset right here. You see how it's it's sounding different now? Uh, and this I know, but see different presets. It's gonna sound different. I mean. Auto tune gonna sound different on different presets because it's presets, so yeah. It also, always make sure you don't copy people um, settings, the auto pitch settings. You know what I'm saying? Some people can put it on at 100 and it can sound good on them. And some people can put it in the middle, make it medium, it can sound good on them. Just because they put it on 100 on me, you gotta put it on 100 because remember, people got different voices. You know, some people got a high pitch, some people got a, a deep voice. Uh, like a low pitch, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, don't always copy people with settings. Yeah, if y'all boys want a preset video, like a full video of me showing y'all my presets, y'all boys let me know, cause these are some of my presets right here. But I got this one, that one. These two right here, like this one, and this one sounds the same. But this one, this I use this one a lot. And this the one, people asking me, should I drop a video on? If y'all want it. And this one is like, this one is terrible. Like, you see how loud it is?
I'm telling you. Am I just preset reviewing right now? But yeah. We ain't about to do that right now, but. I'm out of pitch right now. I'm out of pitch right now. Yeah. Let me just start testing it out. But yeah, whenever uh, you use auto pitch, make sure you make it make sense. Like you gotta re, you, you gotta keep um messing with it over and over and over so it can sound right. Don't just put it at 100 and just drop the song or send it to me because I'ma tell you it sound off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, uh, uh. I'm gonna put a lot of auto tune on it because I hate auto tune. So, I love you, hold on. Time to make a song, so yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna show y'all me recording a song, but that's all y'all needed to know, really. Just whenever you uh you use auto pitch, bro, make sure you find it, find a scale and the key. That's the probably the two most important part. And the BPM on um, BandLab most of the time is gonna find it for you. So, but double check. I always make sure you double check. You find that you're gonna be straight. So yeah. And also, don't always copy people's settings because people got different voices and people know how to control the uh they, their own settings, but you don't know how to really control how they do because they're they set them settings up just for them. So if they give out some settings, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna sound different. So don't think you're gonna sound exactly like the person who made the call. If you tell the police, you can't come in my home. In love with the game, I'm trying to get stoned, I'm trying to get high, then I go. Trying to click up with the gap, but the poly had my telephone. They been on pad, nigga, to the bone. She know that I'm spaying, so she got me gone. This shit was you making, nigga, ain't no pressure. When I was a shooter, niggas have a rhythm. I 